Well, good morning, Lakeside. It's so good to be with you again. It's another In the Word Wednesday video this morning. And I just want to find out who's been watching my videos and who's been watching these videos. So today, if you comment on this and share with us what God's been teaching you in your word or in his word, excuse me, I, I want to just give a couple books away. So if I get four comments, I'm going to choose two random comments to give two books away. Easter's coming up soon. This is a great book to prepare for Easter. It's 50 Reasons Why Jesus Came to Die by John Piper. Great resource. And so I'm looking forward to giving these away and seeing who's watching these videos. So make sure you comment. Well, I'm here at Deb Heister Camp today. So Deb, it's great to have you with me today on this. And I'm just excited to have you. She, uh, if you don't know, Deb it does a lot of our women's counseling and works with lots of women. She's a great resource for us, I know, as we uh, encounter women who need uh, counseling we, we and who desire that, we send them to Deb, and Deb does a great job, and God gives her great wisdom in that, I know. And so she's going to share what she's been learning from God's Word uh, this week. Thanks, Joel. Um, this morning in my Foundations New Testament reading, I was in Acts chapter 9, and Acts 9 starts with Paul, uh, actually, he was still Saul at the time, and he was traveling to Damascus with the intent to persecute the Christians there. And um, he thought that he was being faithful to God. He thought that he was serving God in his zealousness to stamp out all these followers of Christ. Why? Because he didn't believe that Jesus was God's son. He believed that Jesus was a fake. And so God intervenes in Saul's life on his trip to Damascus and, and just intrudes into his life. He stops him with a bright light and Saul is knocked to the ground. And then he hears Jesus speak to him and he says, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And Saul says, who are you? And Jesus says, I am the Jesus that you persecuted. And in that moment, Paul knew that as sincere as his faith was, he was sincerely wrong and that Jesus was who he claimed to be the son of God. And so God totally um, changed the direction of Saul's life at that moment. Um, Jesus then gave Saul directions of where to go and, and what to do. But when Saul went to get up from the ground, he was blind and the men who were with him had to lead him um, by, the, by his hand. And so just imagine what that would be like to see a bright flash of light that knocks you to the ground and leaves you blind. And in our world, we would call that a tragedy. And yet it was God gloriously intruding into Saul's life to give him a ministry um, for the gospel of Christ, taking it to the whole world. And so God gloriously intruded into Paul's life. Mm -hmm. And what we would call a tragedy was actually God, God's hand at work. And next month in March actually marks 50 years ago that God gloriously intruded into mm. my life mm. and helped me to understand that I was a sinner and that I needed Jesus Christ to be my savior. And thank goodness God didn't stop there, but he has gloriously intruded into yeah. my life through many things. And many times they were trials. They were hard things. And so in, in Acts 9, Jesus says um, that Paul is my chosen instrument to carry my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. And then verse 16 for I will show him how much he must suffer for the sake of my name. Mm -hmm. And so the many things that God was going to call Paul to do were, were difficult. They were trials. They were hard. And yet God used them to grow Saul's faith and um, to help him to minister to more people and to share the gospel with more people. And that, I, as I look back at my life, that is what God has done also in my life is he has used the many trials in the past 50 years to give me um, a stronger and greater faith in who my God is. And he's also used it to give me more opportunities to share the love and the gospel of Christ with others. I got this thought of God, it being God gloriously intruding into our lives through the story of Johnny Erickson Tata. And if you haven't heard of her, I encourage you to look her up and find out how God gloriously intruded into her life and gave her a ministry that is global even today. Yeah, 
And, you know, I know going through my life, I've seen those times where God's gloriously intruded in my life with trials and, and yeah. suffering. And it's it was just so good, the transformation he did in my life and the deep work he did in my life. And I know we mm -hmm. deal with a lot of people, and I know some of you maybe are watching, and it's it's it, you're going through a time that's really hard right now. And we would love to come alongside with you and just, mm -hmm. just help you lean into Christ and help you see how he's gloriously intruding in your life. And so if you mm -hmm. if we can be an encouragement in that way, we'd love to do that for you. Um, but don't forget, we want people to have books, all right? These are great resources. So comment on this video. Let us know how God's been using his word in your life and teaching you through it. And the two, two of them, two random ones, I will choose to get a book from me. So let's see who's watching these videos. They, if they didn't watch this video, I'll tell you, they missed out because this was really good. <laughs> so I appreciate you coming on, Deb. Thanks. Thanks a lot. You guys all have a great week and let's keep on turning up the word in 2021.